hypersonic missiles. Hypersonic weapons are, in general, significantly faster and more agile than conventional missiles. They are missiles that are propelled into Earth's upper atmosphere by a rocket at speeds of Mach 5 or higher, or at least five times the speed of sound, or 6,174 kilometers 3,836 miles per hour, before navigating towards a target. That's quick, but speed isn't what distinguishes this new generation of hypersonic weapons. A few countries already have intercontinental ballistic missiles that travel large distances at far greater speeds. However, these are ballistic missiles which follow an arcing trajectory that cannot be changed once launched, similar to a dart. As a result, they're incredibly predictable and easy to grab. Hypersonic weapons, on the other hand, can travel at such incredible speeds while also reorienting and guiding themselves as they approach their target, similar to a cruise missile. A hypersonic glide vehicle is a hypersonic plane with a warhead that skips through the upper atmosphere and may be guided and maneuvered toward a target. This has a number of obvious benefits. The missile can approach from any direction, and there is currently no effective way to intercept it. Different kinds of hypersonic weapons Glide vehicles and cruise missiles are the two basic categories. Because of the difficulties in achieving hypersonic propulsion for missiles, the majority of emphasis is concentrated on the former, which are launched from a rocket before gliding to their target. Scramjet engines utilize the oxygen in the air to provide thrust during flight, allowing the missiles to cruise at a constant speed and altitude. How do hypersonic weapons work? Boost glide weapons and hypersonic cruise missiles are two types of hypersonic technology. A maneuverable glide vehicle is mounted atop a ballistic missile or rocket booster to propel the weapon into the upper atmosphere, similar to how a spacecraft is launched into orbit. The glider is released and descends at hypersonic speeds into the sky, continuing to fly unassisted towards its goal. To reach hypersonic speeds, cruise missiles use scramjets, supersonic combustion ramjets, which are high-speed air-breathing engines. Both types of cruise missiles and warplanes can reach targets faster than subsonic or even supersonic cruise missiles and warplanes. How fast can they travel? A hypersonic missile is a vehicle that can travel at five times the speed of sound, crossing the supersonic limit, Mach 5, at about one mile per second. It can travel faster than current nuclear-capable ballistic and cruise missiles at low altitudes, can change course during flight, and does not follow a predictable trajectory like conventional missiles. Such is its maneuverability that it can potentially evade missile shields and early warning systems and is harder to track. What is hypersonic used for? Hypersonic vehicles travel at speeds greater than five times the speed of sound, enabling a new class of aircraft vehicles that can provide faster access to space, long-range military reaction, and commercial air travel. Hypersonic vehicles have always relied on rocket boosters. Who has hypersonic weapons? China has received a lot of attention recently for developing hypersonic missile technology. But they are not the only military power doing so. Since at least the early 2000s, the United States has been developing such technologies. The US, Russia, and China, according to a recent analysis by the US Independent Congressional Research Service, have the most powerful hypersonic weapons projects. Yet the Financial Times piece claims that China has now taken the lead. Other countries, such as Australia, India, France, Germany, and Japan, are working on hypersonic weapons technology as well. North Korea is said to have successfully tested a newly built hypersonic missile. While hypersonic weapons have been around for a while, the current generation of hypersonic glide vehicles is poised to become the most important next generation of advanced weapons, prompting some to term the recent rush to develop this technology an arms race. <laughs>